Guys, how's it going? True here. And we're playing some new Fallout Vegas. Well, Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. Oh, this bathroom is disgusting. Mm. But last time we, uh, what did we do? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we flew some people on some rockets. Those crazy people. We flew them away on the rockets. That was fun. And, um, now, hmm. I don't know what's up. Ooh. Oh. What do I want to do now? Hmm. Ah, oh, I'm all I'm just trying to take this big, deep, refreshing breath. I know you hate when that happens. Oh, that's nice. Just a big, deep breath. All right, I'm trying. I'm going to figure out who took this guy's wife. All right, the sniper. Hmm. So it had to be someone who knew the shifts, who knew when he was on post, knew where she lived. Hmm. I don't know who. I guess there's a few people I can suspect, but not many. Hmm. Let's go talk to this lady. What can I do for you? Hmm. Uh, I can't really do nothing. Let's see. Physically, you're. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But <laughs> Let's see, I need sterile medical supplies. That's absolutely true. You Ideally, you want sterile medical supplies. Uh, time for Later. me to go. All right, you're still creepy as hell. All right, so. My suspicions. I think there's three possible suspects, all right? The guy that runs the shop. Uh, what's this? Oh, look. Base, there's baseball, duct tape. Oh. I'll take that. The other sniper, or the lady that runs the actual hotel. Now, what they would, uh, what they did in order to have this happen, I don't know. Hmm. Why they would they have done it, though, is a question. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Victor. Hey there, friend. Uh, hmm, what are you doing, Novak? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Okay. So what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. Hmm. I think you can clarify. Goodbye. Be seeing you. Hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Hmm. Well, lights are gonna come out, so I won't wait. I want to talk to the sniper that takes post in the daytime. I want to see if there's anything I can get from him, information-wise. I mean, I doubt he's just going to openly tell me that he's the one that did it. So maybe I want to lie? I don't know. I don't want to do that. Or maybe this guy in the shop might know something. Let's see if he's here. Nope. Hey, robot. I like you, robot. Boom. I want to leave you to it. You're the one I want to talk to. How you doing? Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Hmm. Jimmy May some angel. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a discount at my store. Oh, that's nice of you. Uh, something about... Why is it giving me that option? What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she mm. didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. 
As far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Tell me more about souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Hmm. How did they un Well, they yeah. unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Oh, goodbye. Come back soon now. Hmm. Honestly, not that suspicious, man. That's not making any sense. It's not him. It's got to be the other sniper. Or it's got to be this lady. Let's talk to her. You awake? Hey there. You are. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. What's wrong with Boone? Let's see what she says. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Hmm. Watch out for strangers. Well, man, this just is not adding up. There's got to be clues somewhere, guys. It's, I guess, oh, man. So she says she smelled something in here. Hmm. Could it be the rockets? No. Boom. Where is this other sniper at? That's who I'm looking for right now, is this other sniper. When did he come to relieve you, Boone? Hmm. Hmm. Close the gate. No, robot, you come with me. Come on. I'm sorry, robot. Come on out. Thank you, robot. I'll close it. Hmm. There's gotta be more to it. I can't just I don't wanna just blame someone end up getting someone killed and it wasn't them that did it. Hmm. Well, supposedly she was a wallflower not a wallflower, but she's a really beautiful girl. She didn't seem to like it here. The robot says his skin is crawling. There's got to be more to these things. Hmm. 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 I want to talk to the other sniper. That's what I want to do right now. All one focus on talking to the other sniper. Was if someone was jealous, that could be something, but He's still up here hanging out. You shouldn't be here. If people know we talked, they'll suspect you. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the Legion after both of us. I'm leaving. Don't come here again till it's over. All right, so he's still determined someone working with the Legion. 
Hmm. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? I have to borrow your main rockets. Really? I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding in. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. Well, is my part of you at 30? Okay, I admit it. They've been collecting dust since before I got here. You can have them dirt cheap. Okay, let's see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Yes, I'm supposed to buy the key from you. Okay. Okay. Ooh, doctor's bag. Those are helpful. Hmm. Where's this key at? Uh, stem packs are always good to get to. So it's more likely. Rocket souvenir. Where is this key? Might as well buy that. It never hurts, right? Ooh. That seems cool. Key the T Rex sooner. Dino bite. Oh. Accept. Accept. Goodbye. Come back soon now. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't feel buy that stuff from me. Hurry up, buddy. He's gone. Oh no, he just stuffed away. Let's see if he'll buy any T Rexes from me. Hey. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Uh. Sure thing. Can I sell you a dinky to T-Rex? Let's check. Point eight. <laughs> I didn't get out the front it. Okay. Come back soon now. Well, I might come back and pick all that stuff up and sell it all back to you. If I, if I could really do that, that's going to be fucking weird. But I'm not going to argue. Where is this other sniper guy at? Is he ever coming? Maybe I should just look for other people in town. I don't really look to see if I can find all the people in town. Why is there plenty of people? Oh yeah, thank you for telling me about putting hoistering my weapon. It makes me run faster. Who are you, buddy? Hey, fella. Addy, don't listen to a word No Bark says. I don't think he ever sleeps, so it's no wonder he spouts nothing but nonsense. Okay. I don't know who No Bark is. Are you No Bark? Good thing none of those rockets crashed into Novak. Yeah, it was a good thing. I was a little worried about that, to be honest. To be perfectly honest, that was definitely on my list of worries. Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. Well, we both know she does. She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? Hmm. Let's keep investigating. Ginny May. Let's see what's inside her house.
Oh no. I wasn't I wasn't wanting a still, I just wanna see if she had it in her fridge. Excuse me, robot. Robot. Let me through at least, thank you. Because she's had like crazy stuff in her house. That was gonna be suspicious, but the yeah, house looked normal. Let's see what's in here. The walk house. Howdy. Oh shit. If it weren't for the water caravans. Novak would have turned to dust a long time ago. What is this sign? It's cool. I think you can just let me walk in and just search the place. Ooh. Huh. I don't need to still. If I need the gun, I would still it, but I really don't need it. Mm -mm. See what's in the McBride house. What brings you here? What can you tell you about Boom's life? What do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no-bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. Hmm. How did no-bark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name. But he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. What can tell you about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Hmm. Goodbye. Nice of you to visit. Interesting. Ma'am. Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Nice to meet you, Dusty. What do you hear about? Oh, I tend to my back? ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. What can I tell you about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. That's for darn sure. Heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me about the tax. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch you whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. You guys are really nice. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, no I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Okay, goodbye. So long. Hmm, that is interesting. Very interesting. So they don't really know him. I want to find this no bark fella. But take him from the west, shoot him from the west. So they're shooting from over there. Okay. Interesting. I know I've said that a couple times now. I'm just trying just trying to put everything together. Honestly, my mind's drawing a blank. I mean, I've not really got that many suspicions. Ooh, who are you? Are you a traitor? 
Hey. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Here's what I've got. What you got? Let's see what you got. Um. Don't have a whole bunch. Mark Cruiser off. That seems cool. Power Fist High Cap. Oh! That looks fun. I mean, really ain't got nothing too much that I need. So. Is it, this guy got two heads? Oh, that's fucking freaky. Mm, where are you? Oh, I guess you're with the, mer the merchant. They usually have a mercenaries with them. Who are you? Just hanging out by yourself over here? Howdy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you flying, woman. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yep. Your travel's been going all right? Hmm. She doesn't really tell me anything. Watch your six out there. We must have done something right for you to come along like you did. Mm. Here you are. Man, you, you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Go ghouls are... No longer have gone. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, about the man I'm looking for. Well, yeah, it's not him either. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Where's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. That's all I know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Wait, why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Oh, what did you and Boone's wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Hmm. Did you have anything? I might as well go out and say it. Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. But do you want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Man, what do you protect... I guess he's got the biggest reason to do it, but I don't think it was him. So, you were in gang. Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. What was your tour at the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. 
But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. I don't even have the option to, um, what would you protect the town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. Well, I took care of them. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. So it's not him. Yeah, see ya. But everyone hated him. Round for your eyes. Okay. How you doing? Welcome hmm. back. Can I get you anything? Come back soon now. Something's just not adding up. What am I missing, guys? Oh, let's see what this bungalow is. Dude, you have a problem with these dinosaurs. Major Andy. Hey. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Hi. Uh. What do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. What's wrong with Boone? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. Hmm. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Interesting. Did you do something to your life? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second wow. time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Uh. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, Ooh. there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times. Maybe it will for you, too. Oh, Let cool. me show you how it's done. Oh, indeed. Okay. Thank you. Why did everything go dark? You were extremely helpful. Thank you. Man. What's interesting is...
put him as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. He said she talked and she would tell people. But, uh, she said she would just lock herself up. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh, I can't. Watch out for strangers. There's only like one person I can tell to come out to the front to come to the front with me. This just does not make sense. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Oh, I can't do it to anyone right now because it's come not back time. Soon now. Man. This just is not making sense, guys. Alright, I've actually, this is a super long recording, guys. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the motel room. I'm gonna go sleep, let this time go by. But we'll try to find out next video, guys. And we're also. Oh, sorry about that. We're also going to go investigate the person killing all those cows. So. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.